considerable effort went into making at least some portion of this water sanitary. You can't get in there, not unless you have a card. So, you're trying to get in there? You're not the first person to come here recently, you know? Anasko Varun himself was here. I saw him, but he didn't talk to me. And there were too many other people around him. They all looked really serious. That doesn't sound right. Why would it have anything to do with that? I didn't even see all that much anyway, but I did see them go in. They had cards that let them open the door. I found one after they'd left. I th thought about using it, but I didn't want to get in trouble. Kavil said I should give it to him for safekeeping, so I did. Maybe he'll let you have it. He's really friendly. I'm sure he'll help. People used to call this place home. Always good to see a friendly face. Another day, another mouthful of seaweed. May the great serpent bless us. No offense, but it's not your property. The ownership of the card is far less important than its use. Be that as it may, I feel it should be turned over to the proper authorities. I only wish to serve, I swear. You are right, though. Here, take it. Not enough business to justify keeping it open, perhaps. Drainage pump control bypassed.
are not welcome here. You will leave immediately. This is your only warning. I guard these halls with my brothers and sisters, until the shrouding. None are allowed here, including you. I do not care what you think you need. Jinan Baron himself charged us with the protection of this facility. It was his last order, and it will be carried out. Yes, I know this Nasco. He visited, reinforced his grandfather's order. The work done here must be safeguarded, protected, never permitted to leave. None but the Speaker may decide otherwise. And you are not the Speaker. Winner takes all these tip phrase, is it not? Speaker, please, do not get too close. Do not fear. They know who I am. You do, yes? I can see it. You know me. I am a Nasco Varun. Speaker for the Great Serpent. Yes, Speaker. Be known. Be served. We have always served. And your service is commended. Are you all that remain of this place? Jinan Baron himself bade us guard these halls for all time. Others left. We remain. Very well. You, get to work. Yes, of course, sir. At once. You heard the speaker. Every terminal, every data log, every cable and component. I want it all inspected, and a full report within the hour! You were warned. You did not listen. Then you have forfeit your life. The Speaker's orders will be carried out. You must die. Remote lab facilities are sometimes set up to engage in activities that are dangerous, illegal, or bold. Think you would be rid of me so easily? The arrogance! It would seem this will be more challenging than we anticipated. The work done here has tied us to this place for all time. That is why we have agreed to guard it. Sister, have you not finished this game? You should have heeded Courageous words in the beginning, little one. This is no place for you. It would also seem that I spoke too soon. 
The outcome has not changed, Vedrasi. We are still in control here. I respect your dedication, but I also cannot stop. I swore an oath to House Varun, and I will uphold it. Do you even understand why you are here? What it is you are looking for? This seems a fool's errand. So, you do know something about this place. It does not matter. The interlocks are not yours. They belong here, with us. And they will stay here. You should have left when you had the chance. what you must. Leave the rest for the scavengers. And you are sure? We need the object itself? Yes, Speaker. These Vortex interlocks are complicated devices. We could recreate them from schematics we have recovered, but uh, that would take time. My brothers and sisters and I, we are bound to the pods. The pods are powered by the interlocks. Remove them, and you kill us. Yes, I understand. But you are sworn to serve, are you not? We are, Speaker. Almost, sir. Then what better service than to facilitate contact with the Great Serpent himself? Your sacrifice will bring about a new era for House Varun. As the Great Serpent wills. We will begin extraction at once. Then we should have everything we need to upgrade the equipment at the Citadel. the interlock speaker, and the sum total of the data gathered is on the slates in your possession. Well, then I have all I came for. It is time to leave. You, Phantom, one final order awaits you. We exist to serve, speaker. I know you do. My grandfather insisted this place remain secret, known only to him, known only to the speaker. No one else. As the speaker wills it. Sir, please. Have we not done all that was asked? Oh, you and your team have served well. But your service to me is at an end. Now you shall serve the Great Serpent directly.
to grow weary of this, I assure you, it will not end. You are the one with the power to change this, either by turning around or dying. This is turning into a most exhilarating exercise. All this noise over one little trespasser. Let us be done with this already. The experiments here have ensured our resilience. We endure because it has been ordered of us. How Sparoon's return to greatness begins with the work done here. And until that time comes, we will keep it safe. Your conviction is impressive. The outcome will not change, but we will show you mercy. Destabilized. Containment fields failing. Backup systems risk overload. Consider manual shutdown at the earliest convenience. yourself a commendable opponent but now you have a choice to make if you can remove the remaining interlock you will have bested us but you will ruin the lives of those above us or we can continue this contest of wills and see which of us is stronger the choice is yours Let us see how this ends. Evacuation protocols enacted. Please exit the facility. Always welcome if they have any.
my whole life. Ground. You made the decision. We will all have to live with the consequences. This farm is the only place I have ever known. Now I have nothing. This to work. Research and algorithm have proven to be even more vital than I estimated. I am old and my eyesight is not what it used to be, but I know the face of success when I see it. Your lead from House to Kef paid off. I have heard of such a thing, recently in fact, just before the accident. That is apparently not a coincidence. We do not need it for the device, but if this accounts for some of the leaps in progress in the Citadel, you may wish to hold on to it. As much as I have devoted my life to science, one cannot deny that there is an occasional spark of the divine. The Great Serpent has use for this, and you, still to come. Your timing is excellent, in fact. I believe we are ready to proceed. Just a few quick preparations. Creating the necessary connections. <sighs> it is done. Vindicator, will you do us the honor? to stations. Clear the platform. Activate the power grid interlink. Powering draft drive. Field projector. Standing by. Sending stabilizers. Draft field. Stable. Stations reporting. Ready to proceed with targeting. Targeting system engaged.
The interval won't aid with your complete warning device, but at least we may still benefit in some way. Our work here is finished. May the serpent guide you on your path. The great work now falls to you. The device has worked. I was not certain this would work, but it seems the Serpent has blessed us. You have always lacked faith, Dulkef. One could argue that faith got us into this mess in the first place. Enough! It is time for action, not bickering. Agreed. We must secure the Citadel. Send in everyone. Are you mad? We have no idea how stable this is. No idea what is happening inside. You saw yourself. We barely had a plan for the device. We are lucky to have made it this far. I cannot argue with that. Committing a large force is impossible. There have been reports of increased zealot activity, no doubt in response to what we have been doing here. It would be unwise to leave Dazra even more vulnerable than it already is. And, to be candid, we have no idea what will happen to anyone entering the Citadel. We must minimize the potential risk. It is only fitting that it should be you. Really? I do not doubt our newest member's conviction, but... What else can we do, hmm? She is the only one who can communicate with Anasco. Save as much as you can. Save it all, if possible, but... The Speaker must be your priority. Do whatever it takes to bring Anasco back to us. You are not the first to argue the point, but now is hardly the time. When you have returned safely, we can debate until the end of our days what part the Serpent has played. Focus on what matters now. The Great Serpent will watch over us, and deliver us from whatever may come. We will speak again soon, I hope. really here. Oh, I feared what I saw. That connection we made was yet another vision. This is real, is it not? I knew the serpent would deliver me from this nightmare. 
that there must be some way out. Every time I have attempted to leave this place, I find myself lost, wandering, unable to see. There is nothing out there. Tell me, what of Dazra, the people of House Faroon? I have had terrible visions, a dreadful sense of loss. I saw things, figments of guilt I had hoped, but in my heart, I knew them to be reality. You must believe me. We meant none of this. All of the research, the calculations, we thought we could contain it. I only ever wanted to help, to improve, to elevate House Varun. You do not understand. We cannot simply leave. The chain reaction that started, it is self-sustaining. We tried everything. We had hoped we could complete the experiment, but then the Vortex interlock burned out. You... you have one, don't you? I can feel the power from here. Then the Serpent truly has sent you to us. I wish I could guarantee your safety, but I am graced by the Serpent and have retained my faculties. So many of my people were not as fortunate. You will have no choice but to deal with them. The reactor level is below us. Bring the interlock there. We will need it if we wish to see this through. is ahead, and it does indeed look unstable. As I said, a new vortex interlock is needed. The reactor must be stabilized before we can proceed. We did not anticipate that we might have erred in our recreation of the vortex interlock, or that we could overload it.
is time. Come, see what you have helped to save. gone wrong. All we have sacrificed. I confess I had lost hope. I grew up hearing stories of my grandfather's communion with the Great Serpent. The immense responsibility he was given to create and guide House Thurl. By the time I became Speaker and inherited that responsibility, so much had changed. The once proud glory of House Varun was diminished. We had lost our way, and I alone could not discern a path forward. I required the Great Serpent's guidance once more. So, I set out to find him. At first, I thought so too. And I despaired. I learned that my grandfather had attempted something similar. I found reassurance in that idea that he, too, sought additional instruction from the Serpent. And over time, I began to see that the Great Serpent had indeed left a path for me, hidden amongst the experimental failures and setbacks. This vortex the place between places, and the energy it holds, could be harnessed, refined, directed. How can you not see? In reaching for him, he has shown us the way. Utilizing the Vortex energy, we have learned that we can create powerful warriors, capable of teleporting vast distances in an instant. The brave volunteers in this room await the chance to be the first wave of soldiers loyal to the Great Serpent and our cause. House Varun can project force on a scale unimaginable in the history of the human race. Dinan Varun's mandate can be fulfilled. The Serpent's Crusade can begin anew. Despite all that has happened, their life support system has remained stable. Just one more sign from the Great Serpent that we are following his will. And now, the glorious honor falls to you, my faithful servant. Activate the pods, carry out the Serpent's will, and begin House Varun's triumph! Of will, short of sight, a betrayer. 
And in the end, you have changed nothing! There will always be one more willing to serve, and once I have restored the Citadel, I will find them and send them out into the settled systems. Zealots! Of course they would attempt to poison this, as they do all things. They will not stop it. The work will be completed now! Come then, all of you, ascend the Citadel or squabble amongst yourselves. I will await you at the Pinnacle. What is it? So... Nice to be able to talk like this, though, isn't it? 
It's Sylvie, yes? I thought I overheard that earlier. Well, Sylvie, I sincerely appreciate all you've done for me. I can see how hard you all work here in the Med Bay, and I know you must be tired. Why don't you tell me something about your day? Get my mind off all this. Is it recording? All right. Thank you. Well, look at you all here, crammed into this cave. I know, it's hardly what any of us imagined when we first set out those months ago, but here we are. I'll tell you, it still surprises me that there are so many interested in what I have to say. But I do appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. We've come to know each other very well over these last weeks. Before, well, you all know what happened. Before that, I was quiet on the ship, I know. Kept to myself. Didn't get to know any of you like I should have. But since all that, we've shared a lot, haven't we? More than anything, I've shared that I care about all of you. Want the best for you. I suppose I should stop pretending you're not all here for a specific reason. You've heard something that's been going around. Want to know if I really said it. So let's get to it. The Great Serpent is real. He is not a figment of my imagination. He is not a paranoid delusion. He is not a lie or some kind of con job. The Great Serpent is as real, as tangible, as any of us in this room right now. I know. I saw him. Spoke with him. He is a celestial entity. A being as old as the cosmos itself. He is everywhere and everyone. The Great Serpent is inside each and every one of us right now. Now you all know me. You know I wouldn't lie to you. Not about anything, and certainly not about this. So, if you've listened this long, <laughs> I hope you'll listen a bit longer. Because, just like me, the Great Serpent cares about each and every one of you. My children! House Varun! The time has come! Too long have we spread his truth, only to have it fall on deaf ears! Too long have we preached his understanding and received nothing but derision in return! Is that our fate? To suffer the insults and disdain of unbelievers? Never! We are House Varun! The promised, the holy anointed of the Great Serpent. We spread his word that the settled systems may know its place when comes the shrouding. And if the United Colonies, the Free Star Collective, the free peoples of the galaxy will not accept his love, let them be crushed in his embrace. Go forth! Those whose blood is venom, whose voice the hiss of reason. Carry out our charge to prepare the way. Bring to the unworthy our serpent's crusade. Bring to them their woe.
attempts to meddle. You have nonetheless served your part in the Serpent's plan. Neither you nor the Zealots will disrupt our achievement now. The gate will cycle one more time, shifting the Citadel into the Vortex. You and those bothersome Zealots trapped inside will be cast into the Void forever. And I will carry on the Crusade myself! Slowly, slowly. Well, I you told have you been she through would a lot. Be. I cannot believe it. 
The citadel is gone. There is no sign of an Asco. You failed. You brought us no scrap of hope for the future? You must understand, that seems hard to believe. You will have to explain yourself. Where is Anasco? Why is he not here with us? Then truly, we are lost. Without Anasco, there is no speaker. There is no way forward. Perhaps. Or perhaps we acknowledge a simple truth. We are currently the government. We decide what happens from here. You would dare speak of treason? Heresy! I speak of survival. Please, calm down, both of you. This is not a time to be calm or sit idly by. This is a time for action. We, the three of us, are the High Council. All of House Varun looks to us for guidance. We should provide it. Indeed we will. So we should name one. Right now. That is not within our power. But Lovek, it can be. We can decide that right here, right now. We can carve a path forward for House Varun. Or else, we can sit by and watch all that we have built crumble around us. And what assurance do I have that the two of you are not just looking to usurp power for yourselves? Then we let the Vindicator decide. And we have a Herald here as a witness. I think it is. Three houses stand before you. Simply choose which should represent House Varun going forward. Surely you cannot mean this. House Varun's survival is paramount. To say such a thing is heresy. You would brand yourself a traitor. This is a result of your escape, yes? You hit your head. You do not mean what you just said. Then... Then decisions about our future no longer concern you. Out of respect for all you have done for us, you will be allowed to leave the city. But after that, you are an enemy of House Varun, and will be killed on sight. Go then. Go back to the worthless set of systems, and share their fate when the shrouding comes. For it will come. You should just leave.